Hey everybody, so welcome back to Jim Bob's Garden. So, today we're going to do some planting. Uh, you can see, if you look over here, I got things cleared out a little bit. I'm still working on most of it. Um, but, you know, we're starting to make some progress and get back into the garden. It's been so hot and everything, it's just really been hard to talk myself into coming out here. But, we're back at it. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant some of these yard-long beans. I've got these here from Baker Creek that my daughter bought me, Chinese new, uh, green noodles. And then I got some of the, uh, the yard long, the red ones that I've, I've got some seeds in my pocket that I saved seeds from. And they grow really well. Uh, they're a really good bean for the summertime, all right? So now one of the things about the beans is you kind of got to be strategic about them. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so my plan is I want to get some to grow up this trellis, kind of provide a little bit of shade for the stuff back behind in the, in the afternoon. So when you plant the beans, basically you just dig a hole about an inch deep, toss a bean in it. Simple as that, and then come back through and water. And I'm going to do them about every uh, six inches to a foot apart, thereabouts. Um, I've had really good germination with these, so... Um, I'm not real worried about them actually growing. Um, I mean, it's to the point where they actually grew so well that it was almost a pain because they were sprouting up in places where I didn't really intend them to be. So, so let me get these planted real quick and then I'll plant some of them other ones. Now, um, these beans have been very prolific, very good in the summertime. Uh, regular green beans, um, gosh, what is it? I can't remember now the type of bean that I normally grow in the summer. Um, I had some back behind me, um, basically the, uh, the pole beans, and they all died out. The heat's just too much for them. But these noodle beans or the foot-long beans or yard-long beans, whatever you want to call them, they seem to love the heat. So... Um, I've never had any real problem with them growing. They've been a really good bean to grow this time of year. Now keep in mind, not only when you grow beans, not only am I getting um, the beans themselves, but they also put nitrogen back in the soil and help fertilize the soil. So that's a lot of why I, I want to grow these, is not only to you know hopefully get something to eat, but also to help you know get that soil life going again. And once I get these up and growing, I'll go ahead and come back through. I'll throw some compost down around them probably in this whole area and then I'll throw some uh, grass clippings over the top um, just to help kind of cover the soil until um, um, you know it gets to be fall planting time where I can actually plant the whole garden out all right so that's those that's my, my red ones and those are saved seeds that I've I've had from before and then here I'm gonna plant some of these green ones um, and I will tell you that the red ones, they're a tasty bean, and they grow a ton of beans. Oh man, my little bag is coming apart. So we're gonna do the same thing here. I'll put them about six to eight inches apart. Get some of these weeds up. And I, I will tell you, man, when these things grew, last year they just went crazy I mean like pretty much covered the trellis now if you look here you can see I have one pole bean that survived and it isn't looking too good but these here when I get them planted they'll do a lot better yeah I got that one plant right here that's curled up and pulling up the trellis but um you know, I've, I've done a few of the what to plant videos, and I will tell you, not a whole lot that I want to eat will grow this time of year. Um, and I'll go through, I'm, I'm going to do another video here, well, theoretically at least, that's what I keep saying anyway, um, in the near future though, and see, I'll show you pretty much everything that is actually still growing. Um, but most of what 
I try to grow this time of year just really it either has to have already been grown um, or you just got to wait until the fall all right all right so I'm gonna go ahead and plant them here I'm gonna plant them on the other side of the trellis and I'll plant some more over on this side but I'll go ahead and do that on my own but I want to show you what we're doing we are still working in the garden I am coming out here I mean it's really hot Today is a beautiful day. It's just, it's nice and cool out. So it's a nice day to be out. But it's been in the, the mid 90s and 70, 80% humidity. So it's been really hard to talk myself into coming out here and doing any gardening. So I'm gonna knock this out and then I'm probably gonna go back inside and hang out until it cools off. And uh, hopefully I'll have another video out here in the near future talking about what actually is growing at this time of year and what is not. Uh, we'll get to that here in the near future. Well, thanks for stopping by. Uh, if you don't have anything growing and you look for something to grow, look into some of them yard long beans or the uh, Chinese noodle beans. They, they tend to want to grow very well this time of year. All right, that's something to think about doing and it'll help out your soil. Even if you don't get a lot of beans, you'll get something uh, that's putting nitrogen back into your soil. So thanks once again for stopping by. Do me a favor, give me a like and a subscribe and let me know what you think. Most importantly, grow something. You can, you can grow things even this time of year. All right, y'all come back and see me now.